In this tutorial, we're going to have a look at connected particles on a horizontal. So it says a car and its trailer travel on a straight horizontal road. The coupling between them is light and horizontal. The car has a mass of 900 kilograms. There is there. And its resistance to motion is 100 newtons. There is there. The trailer has a mass 700 kilograms and a resistance to motion of 300 newtons. The car and the trailer have an acceleration of 1.5 meters per second. So it's accelerating in this direction here. And we show acceleration by a double arrow. So A equals 1.5 meters per second squared. Calculate the driving force of the car. Okay, so what we're going to do is mark on, first of all, all the forces. Because there's one force that hasn't been mentioned. The tension in the tow bar. So... From the car's point of view, it's being held back by the tow bar. From the trailer's point of view, the tow bar is pulling it forward. So that's the tension in the tow bar. Both tensions are equal, otherwise the tow bar would snap. Right, so to calculate the driving force of the car, well, first of all, it would help to find what the tension is. So if we cover up one of the particles, we only want to consider one particle at a time so if we cover this up for now let's pretend that the car doesn't exist so all we've got is the trailer so what we're doing is we're resolving for the trailer so i'll mark that down Oop, get rid of that so part one resolving for the trailer so the positive direction should be the direction of motion so all the forces forward, which is T, take all the forces going backwards, which is 300, equals mass times acceleration, so equals 700 times acceleration, which is that, which means that T equals, well it's 700 times 1.5 plus 300, so get the calculator up, 700 times 1.5 plus 300 oh that said 15 1.5 plus 300 equals 1350 newtons so now we've got the tension in the tow bar so now let's pretend the trailer doesn't exist let's cover that up make sure i don't cover the 100 newtons there cover that up so all that exists in our world now is the car and I've realised I've forgotten to put a force on the car, the driving force, which I'm going to call F. I should have drawn that on earlier. So, F, considering this to be the positive direction, so resolving for the car now. So, F, take all the forces going backwards, take T, take 100, equals mass times acceleration. means that F equals so it's 900 times 1.5 plus 100 plus the tension which will work out to be 1350 newtons which is equal to 2800 newtons so the driving force of the car is 2800 newtons make sure you put units it's important part two calculate the force in the coupling well actually i've already done that from a previous method so i would say the force in the coupling t equals 1350 newtons c above for working so the way i've done this has actually made me answer part two within part one so that's a perfectly valid way of writing it out and this is the way I would recommend you do it. Cover up particles, do F equals MA, and it massively simplifies the problem. For more videos like this, go to alevelmathsrevision.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel.